For the Daily Radio News on 94.3 WKUF, I'm David Jackson for Tuesday, June 7, 2016. A study on the lead levels in children aged 6 and under was released this week by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Ron Fonger of the Flint Journal reports that almost 5,000 young children across Michigan had elevated lead levels in their blood during the 2015 MDHHS testing. The department apparently tested over 140,000 children last year, and 3.4% of all children registered as having elevated blood lead levels. The highest in the state at 10% was not the Flint area, but instead was the Lenaway County, home to the cities of Adrian and Tecumseh on the southern edge of the state. The county showed positive results in over 100 children of the 1,000 tested. Other areas of note with excessive blood lead levels in children are the city of Detroit with 7.5% of children tested and Menominee in the UP with 5.1% of children exceeding the limits for lead levels in their blood. The city of Flint showed that 3.4% of children were measured as having excessive amounts of lead in their system, or about the same as previous years. One zip code in Flint, the 48503, registered slightly higher, and the DHHS said in a news release that it is working with several communities to provide more data in that area to prevent and reduce lead exposure. According to the state, major sources for lead exposure outside of the reports of city water include lead-based paints and contaminated soil. Governor Snyder appears to have kept his word on drinking filtered city water for a month. Jaquanda Johnson of the Flint Journal reports that in an unrelated press conference at Ma Community College, the governor was asked about his pledge, to which Snyder said that he fulfilled his promise and still drinks the remaining water at his office on occasion. Snyder promised Flint residents in April that, in a gesture of solidarity, he would drink filtered water from Flint for a month to show that the filters work as expected. The governor's office has said on multiple occasions that as long as it is filtered, it is okay to cook and drink Flint water. And recent studies at Virginia Tech University have shown that hand washing, showering, and bathing in Flint water is acceptable. In election news, Hillary Clinton supporters are claiming victory in the media on the eve of California's primary. The Associated Press, after using their own internal survey data to measure the commitments of so-called Democratic superdelegates, released multiple articles saying that Mrs. Clinton had already won the primary campaign. According to the numbers, as long as the as-of-yet uncommitted superdelegates overwhelmingly support Mrs. Clinton, the polling data assumes that Mrs. Clinton has already won enough delegates to win the party's nomination. The Senator Sanders campaign disagrees, however, noting that the press is assuming that Mrs. Clinton has already received the support of the majority of superdelegates who will not not cast their votes until the Democratic convention in July. This declaration of victory comes the night before six states, including California, which represents over 10 percent of total delegates, hold their primary votes. As of now, Senator Sanders trails Mrs. Clinton by approximately 7 percent. In sports, the Detroit Tigers soundly beat the Toronto Blue Jays last night. Rookie Michael Fulmer put up his sixth win this season by throwing six scoreless innings with just two hits. Backing up Fulmer's pitching, Detroit Bats put up 15 hits and 11 runs in the Tigers' 11-0 win against the Blue Jays. The Tigers are currently on a four-game win streak, which has tied them with the White Sox in third place just three and a half games back in the AL Central. In Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals last night, the Pittsburgh Penguins scored in every period to put up a 3-1 victory against the San Jose Sharks. The Penguins now lead the series three games to one, and on Thursday for Game 5, the Stanley Cup heads back to Pittsburgh, where the Penguins have the opportunity to win the series at home. For more information about today's stories, visit WKUF.FM. I'm David Jackson.